YouTube. Here today, I'm going to teach you how to make your own iQuiz on the iPod. Uh, iQuiz is a simple little game, and there's quizzes. So if it's a load, just gives you things like movie quizzes, music quizzes. It's really quite cool. And I'm going to teach you how to make your own. So, this is the iQuiz game. And uh, I actually have some custom quizzes and cool quizzes. And actually, I named that group. <laughs> See, I got the Christopher Test, since that's my name, and the random quiz. Okay? Alright. Now, I'm going to teach you how to do it. First, go to www.iquizmaker.com and download the iQuiz Maker. Okay, now, time to learn how to make the quiz. First, open, a, open the iQuiz Maker. Just a little picture. Okay, oh, never mind. Uh, add quiz. Okay. You see, it, actually, it stores the quizzes, see? So, a new quiz number one. So, I'm going to call it, just since I'm showing everyone on YouTube how to do this, I'll call it Test Test. <laughs> Hi, where'd it go? Oh, there we go. Test Test. Okay. Then, you start with your questions. Just hang on. Right now, I have a true and false question. Uh, well, how, hold on, I'm gonna try to put the camera down so I can, you know, do stuff. Maybe if I move this down. Alright, that'll work. Zoom in a little. Okay, so I want to change this. I'm gonna double click it. Make sure you double click. If you just click, it won't work. Gonna erase it, and I'm gonna put this. Oops, not the. Uh, this video is on YouTube, okay? Period. The answer is true, so I'm going to leave it like that. Now, to add a question, if you want it to be a true or false question, you click that. If you want it to be multiple choice, you do that. You can also delete que answers so you can have I don't know three answers if you want on a multiple choice so I'm gonna click that so I can make a multiple choice question okay now what do I want the question to be um, hmm okay now you uh, you will learn something what is the name of the guy. Hang on. Yeah. The guy in the background. Oops, did I press the wrong thing? Yes. In the background. Okay? When I say that guy, I mean this guy. Okay? So, his name is actually Danny. So, I'll put the correct answer here. Danny. And I'll put the little dot there. And for these I'll just put some random names. Let's do Carl. And how about I do my own name? Chris. And uh, Ralph. Okay, that'll be one question. Now, if I wanted to erase one of these questions, like I said, you click on it and highlight it like that, right click, and click delete. It will ask you, do you want to permanently delete this question? Just click yes. Now there's only Danny, Chris, and Ralph. Okay, so that's pretty much what you need to know. Now for settings. Here you can set things like what the message will be when you win, when you lost. So I'm just going to leave it as there. Questions to ask per game, you can set that 
to whatever number you want. I do not suggest putting it over the number of questions you have, because then the questions will repeat. Since I only have two questions, I'm just going to put two. So both those questions will be asked. Lose game after a number of wrong answers. One, since there's only two questions. Okay, then you close that. Then, I have this... Oh, wait a second. Hang on. Okay, so I've got it in the Cool Quizzes group. You saw that on the iPod Quiz game. And I have Test Test. That's the name of it. So now, I'm going to go up to File. I'm going to click Export Quiz. And I'm going to call it Test Test. And sa always save it. Well, it'll make you save it as an iQuiz Maker file because that's how it lets you. Then, save it. Okay, we're almost ready. Now, we need to open up iTunes. So, I need to connect the iPod to the computer. Just give me a second. Just for, for all of you that don't know, put this in here. You people probably wouldn't be watching this video if you didn't know, but I just feel like showing this. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna connect it into the computer in the USB slot. Do 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 la 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 schmaffle do. Sorry, that's just a word I made up, schmaffle do. Alright, we're connected. And then this should open. Or whatever your iPod name is. Then. Uh, ah, there we go. Then you should come to this. Click on your device. The device name. Okay? After you do that, you're going to want to go up and click on games. Then, you're going to want to click Sync Games, Who and then to? I'm making a tutorial, and then you'll click Sync Games, and then you'll click All Games. Then, down here, you'll see the little Sync button, you're going to want to click that. So after you click that, it'll be syncing the iPod. Okay. And you just wait it for it wait for it to sync. Okay, now we can disconnect. And let's see if our quiz works. Sorry. Okay. Click on games. I quiz. It's loading. And let's see if test test is here. New game. Gonna go. Oh, I forgot to put it in the group, I guess. Oh well. See, there's test test. Let it load. It just loads the trivia effect. So it's gotta do that. Three, two, one. This video is on YouTube. True. It's the name of the guy in the background. Danny. Alright, you won. Now I'm going to play again just to show you the losing message. I'm going to lose purposely. I'm just going to choose the wrong option. Got it wrong. You lost. See? And that's really all you got to know. Thank you for watching this video. Maker of the Silly Show, out.